Welcome artists. In this video, you will learn about our second watercolor exploration, the watercolor landscape. For this project, we will consider how artists create the illusion of depth in a landscape painting. In this video, you will learn how to apply the element of space in a landscape composition by including a foreground, middle ground, and background in your watercolor painting. Remember, landscape is one of the six art genres that we learned about in unit two. A landscape is a work of art that focuses on a place or natural environment. What type of landscape do you like? Think back to that opening question. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would it be? Perhaps you've always wanted to go to the California coast or to a snowy mountain cabin. For this assignment, you can pick any location of your choice as the subject of your landscape painting. So why not pick that dream destination? For this project, you are going to be graded on your use of the watercolor techniques you've learned so far and your demonstration of the element of space that you will learn about in this video. You may also wish to learn about composition techniques that can be helpful in creating an even more dynamic painting. Space is one of the seven elements of art that you learned about in Unit 2 and is perhaps the most important consideration when creating a landscape. While technically the word space refers to all of the area within a composition, including the area around, between, inside, above, or below objects. More specifically for landscapes, we want to think about how we divide up the space into foreground, middle ground, and background. Because paintings are created on a flat or two-dimensional surface, artists divide the space into a foreground, midground, and background to help create the illusion of depth or three-dimensionality. The foreground is the area closest to the viewer, the background is the area furthest away, and the middle ground is the area in between. Having all three layers makes for a more realistic landscape and makes for a stronger, more interesting composition. To create your own dynamic landscape composition, First, make sure you use the YouTube videos to practice your watercolor painting techniques. Once you feel you have good control of the paint, choose a reference photograph of the landscape you would like to paint. Make sure your photo has a strong composition, including a foreground, middle, and background. Click on the link in the presentation view to see other tips for creating strong compositions. Then finally, create your landscape. One option you have for finding a reference photo is to use Google Images. You can check out the photo in the presentation view or click the, the arrow to play the video to learn how to use this technique. Make sure you copy these definitions on your note guide, then have fun creating your own dynamic landscape composition. Have fun and I can't wait to see what you create.